Okay, so this little talk is about how you can deal with um, edits once they come in, probably not just from a friend or someone that you might be able to, you know, be a bit more open with or honest with, but um, if they came in from an editor, for example. So there are a number of different types of edits. And to be honest, even though I've gone through quite a few, I still mix up all of the names. But sometimes you will, you know, send something off and then the first thing you'll get back is a letter, like an overview letter. Um, so not all editors do this, though. So there might be a bit of a letter saying, you know, what they liked about the book and what they didn't think worked so well. Um, you know, that's an individual thing, whether an editor sends an actual letter just in a Word document. But what's likely is the first stage would be structural edits. So these are just all about the structure. So how the book or the story is put together, you know, and that might mean moving some things around. You may have started the story too late. It's a very common thing for newer writers to do. Um, you know, people might suggest, editors might suggest you just start on page two, as it were, rather than writing your way in. Um, and then later on, there'll be sort of line edits and copy edits. So line edits, you know, on a more word by word structure. Um, yeah, so there can be lots of different stages. But how to sort of approach edits and critique? The, the advice is all the same, really, which is I would suggest that you don't do anything straight away. So you open the overview letter or you open the document where there might be, you know, not red pen, but, you know, notes all over it and lots of things of yours crossed out or changed. And it's a very natural, I think, and instinctive thing to kind of recoil at that and to be a bit like, oh, you know, what have I done? What have I done wrong? And they don't think this works and nobody likes it. And it's just really good then to just take some time. So, you know, if you know an edit letter's coming in or you know some edits are coming in, make yourself a cup of tea or coffee, sit down and read over things calmly and then close the document, put it away for a little bit and then come back to it again, you know, a couple of hours later or the next day. And hopefully those initial feelings of, you know, they just don't get what I'm talking about or they've missed the point or I'm a rhyming genius and they just don't realise it. All of these natural things that will pop into our mind, hopefully a bit of time away, those, those things kind of settle and you're able to sort of take a step back and see what the editor is meaning or what they're trying to do. And the best thing to do with edits and critique is just take the points one by one. Um, and also really deeply know that this is your book and your story and an editor or a professional may not be always right. You know, you need to trust your gut instinct and analyse your gut instinct as well and think why you really want to hold on to something if you don't want to change it. Um, is it because you think it's better or is it a cultural reference that an editor isn't understanding? Um, and mainly realise that all of these points are a discussion they're up for a discussion. So write some notes about how you feel. And remember, your editor is on your side and everything is up for grabs.